Using absolutely no VFX, I am going to turn myself into a robot in 3, 2, 1. Did you see that? Isn't that insane? I'm a robot right now. In a few seconds, I can also turn into this guy. Or maybe this guy. And I can turn myself into many different characters just like this. But let's switch back for a second. Ah, I'm back. In this video, I am going to teach you exactly that. Using no VFX background, using no video editing or motion capture or any of these fancy things. How can you turn yourself into any character that you would like using this AI tool that I'm about to show you. But before we do that, hit the subscribe button. My name is Sridev and you're watching the AI Lab at 100x Engineer. The tool I'm going to be using for this is called Wonder Dynamics. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Wonder Dynamics has not paid us anything in order to make this. I just simply love what they've created and I think it's amazing. And I feel like this deserves to be shared to the world. Wonder Dynamics is an AI tool that automatically relights, animates and composes CG characters in a live action scene. What this basically means is I can simply shoot a video of myself sitting on a desk or maybe standing somewhere and Wonder Dynamics will automatically identify my contours, my outlines, and it will replace me with the character that I choose, which can be a robot, a person, whatever you like. Firstly, you'll go to the website wonderdynamics.com and you'll see what I see on my screen. Now, before signing up, here's a fun fact. This is a startup that is founded by Nikola Todorovic and Ty Sheridan. And you might remember Ty Sheridan from a few places, like these. Yeah, the founder of the startup is actually the hero in the movie Ready Player One. And he has some pretty crazy good investors as well. There's Joe Russo who produced the Marvel movies, there's Steven Spielberg, no introduction needed over there. A lot of folks from Hollywood are heavily invested to this technology, so you can soon see some of these tools being used to produce Hollywood level films as well. So in simple words, what Wonder Dynamics essentially does, it, it maps out some of the motion points in your body so that it understands how you are moving, where your eyes are placed, where your hands are, etc, etc. And it overlays a character onto it. So it looks something like this. So this is the Wonder Dynamics shot and this is the original shot. So I'm going to click on open app, but if you don't have an account already, click on sign up, just create an account. They don't ask for your credit cards. You don't need to pay nothing like that so far. Now, once you've signed up, you'll see a window like this. Now, Wonder Dynamics is not a free tool. To run this kind of tech and to do those kind of renders and generations, it costs a lot of compute. To actually fully detect all the points in your body and to convert you into a character actually costs a lot of energy and compute. So this is a paid tool, but when compared to using an animation studio or maybe getting a VFX expert in order to do it, it's way, way, way cheaper. So I'll just quickly walk you through the pricing plans. Now, if I click on upgrade over here, I'll be taken to the pricing options, All right? Let's look at the monthly pricing plans. The plan that I'm on is the light plan, which costs me about $19, which in Indian rupees is around 1,600 rupees, which is not at all bad for this level of animation and VFX. And with that, I get about 3,000 credits a month, which means I get roughly about 150 to 200 seconds of footage that I can convert. Now, if your needs are more than that, you can definitely go for the higher plans as well. Now, if you look at this featured character section, these are the characters that are actually available for you to try out. Now, in order to get started, I'm going to click on create new project and I will click on continue on the live action easy. The other ones are for more advanced people. So if you're really into 3D and VFX, feel free to try these out as well. Once I click on this, I see an editor screen like this in front of me. And all I have to do is click on upload video and upload the video that I would like to edit or overlay an avatar with. So this is the video that I would like to overlay. Now I'm going to click on this video and drag and drop it to the timeline. After I'm done with that, I click on next. Then I get an option that says scan frame for actors. I'll click on that and basically what is happening is the tool is actually scanning my entire frame in order to see where the main character is. So this tool works best when you have a single character and when you don't have a lot of noise or a lot of crowd in the background. Now, after I'm done with this, I will just click 
on the box that it has drawn out for me. And now it tells me to select a character. So I will expand this window over here and I will select whatever character I want. Now let's say I do not like any of the characters over here. I can even create a new character. I can give it a name, let's say Gogo, click on create and I can export whatever character that I want on Blender or whatever software that I have created that character on. Now I'm not a Blender expert, so I'm just gonna choose a character that they've already provided for me. They have about 15 characters and a bunch of other characters that are in the pipeline, which are coming soon. Now I like this radio bot guy. It looks pretty cool to me. So I'm just gonna click on the radio bot and finally I'll click on assign. And it has assigned a character to me over here, as you can see. Now I'll click on next. And finally, it will give me the rendering options. Now here I can choose whether I want 1080p, 4K, 720p, whatever it is. And I can choose multiple other options as well. If I want motion capture to happen, it'll also give me a file that actually records the motion capture. It'll give me a clean plate file. It'll give me alpha masks. These are all things that are concerning more towards the editors. So if you want options of editability in whatever output you get from Under Dynamics, you can have those as well. And finally, I will click on start processing. Now it usually takes about an hour for this model to actually process this footage. So we're just gonna have to wait for that amount of time. And finally, you can see the output over here. Let's actually watch it. Did you see that? Isn't that insane? I'm a robot right now. That was pretty cool, right? Like just with a few clicks, you can completely replace yourself. You don't need to have any kind of expertise in VFX, any kind of expertise in mocap, none of that. You can just do that with a phone and a PC and a subscription to this tool. And you can do this for a lot of use cases. So for example, we wanted to shoot an ad for our applied generative AI cohort. And we needed a scene where the robot was actually jumping from one building into the actual studio itself. But we didn't have any kind of stunt doubles or any kind of expertise expertise in VFX or motion graphics or anything like that. So what we did was we found a footage of Spider-Man who was actually jumping from a building to another building and we overlaid one of the robots on top of it, right? And we just put this into the ad and this is what it actually looks like in the ad. And we use this tool in multiple things. We have certain tutorial videos where we use this as a way of creative storytelling. You can use this in advertising. You can use this to create graphics, whatever you like. I think this is a pretty amazing tool. I hope through this video, I've been able to show you how to use it and also to show you how amazing this tool is and hopefully you feel the same way as I do. Don't forget to subscribe to 100x and I'll see you in the next one.